Hi. Hola. Hi, here is Mr. Dozier. This is Michael Bradley. Hey, I'm Memphis. Hey. Hola. Hello. I'm here with Soccer.com. 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 And I'm talking with my friends at Soccer.com. See you soon. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review of the brand new CR7 Chapter 4 Forged for Greatness Nike Ordem 4 Match Ball. Now this is kind of an unusual product because we don't normally see this from Nike. Usually the Ordem 4, which is the match ball for the Premier League, Syria, and La Liga, is exclusive to those leagues in terms of the brandings and graphics that we see. But for the Chapter 4 CR7 Mercurial Signature colorway, they've actually created a matching Ordem 4 match ball, which is really, really cool. So if you were looking for an Ordem 4 and you want something that's going to be a little bit more unique and certainly more limited than the regular variations, this is one of those balls that you may want to consider. And of course, we'll take a closer look in today's video. If you're interested in one of these for yourself, I'll leave a pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below in the description. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you'll be able to pick this guy up below its normal $160 retail. Keep in mind though that these are much more limited than the regular Ordem 4 versions. So if you are interested in one of these, I would suggest picking them up as soon as you can because they won't be available for too much longer. They'll likely sell out pretty quickly. So with all of that in mind, first link down below. If you're interested in one, let's take a closer look at the ball. All right, so here is a look at the ball next to its inspiration, the Chapter 4 Forge for Greatness CR7 in the form of the Mercurial Superfly 5. And it's pretty clear to see that the two shoes are at least color coordinating. It's not exactly the same, but you can tell the inspiration if you're familiar with the shoe. Now the ball itself, unlike the shoe, doesn't necessarily have that same kind of color flip to it, um, where this kind of color flips between kind of like a gray and a purple and a blue and a little bit of a green color, um, which is really, really cool. It kind of reminds me of a fish. Whereas this ball, as you can see, the base is kind of like a really, really light blue color. And then you have some of the darker flip color in the form of a gray, kind of like a gunmetal running through the graphics of the Ordem 4 kind of in and around the panels themselves. Now, of course, you have your CR7 branding right there uh, with the CR being in a darker gray and then the 7 being in a silver. And then the actual Nike swoosh itself is a black, but it has a little bit of kind of a glitter to it on the inside with a silver outline. And then you have that bright orange kind of glow like you'll find from the sole plate running through the insides of the Pentagon panels which is a cool little extra detail that they incorporated on the ball that again, I think just makes it look really, really unique. Other than that, it's pretty much just a regular Ordem 4. So as far as match balls go, it's top end in terms of quality. You really do get what you pay for here. It features a 12 panel design with these pentagon shaped panels. And then within the panels, it looks like there are smaller ones, but you can see they don't go right to the edge. They're just grooves within the panels themselves. It's called aero track grooves. And the reasoning for that is for, so air can pass more evenly across all sides of the ball. It's supposed to allow it to glide more easily and potentially even further and faster. It's difficult to say that it actually does that though, but the ball, like I said, performs really, really well, has a nice consistent touch because of the larger panels, which can often make the ball feel a little bit uh, unpredictable in terms of how it flies through the air, but you don't really get that sense with this particular ball. In comparison to other match balls, uh, it does have, I guess, more of a weighted, slightly heavier feel to it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just kind of a quirk of this particular ball. Uh, all thermally bonded, of course, no stitching here. So it maintains its weight even in wet weather playing conditions. It's not going to absorb any kind of water. You can see there's some very slight texturing here on the surface in the form of these kind of circular rings. And that just, again, is there to leave the surface of the ball slightly textured. So when you are in wet weather conditions, the ball surface isn't going to be left completely slick. It kind of just breaks up the surface a little it. So that's the reasoning for the texture. It is of course FIFA approved, which hopefully I can find the branding on the ball. Maybe they don't put it on this one, but it is a regular Ordem 4. I don't actually see the FIFA approved stamp. If you guys see it in the video, I guess let me know the timestamp, but I personally do not see it right now as I'm looking at the ball, but I can assure you that this is a regular Ordem 4. Maybe they just chose not to put it there because believe it or not, the FIFA approved stamping is something that any brand, Nike, Adidas, whoever it may be, they actually have to pay FIFA to have the stamp on the ball. So maybe Nike deemed that because this was kind of a lower production match ball and not gonna be used in any official games, they didn't wanna put it on the ball itself. So that's possibly the explanation there. Not 100% sure on that, um, but definitely a possibility. It does look as well, and it's difficult to kind of point this out or say that this is 100% true, but you can see that within the actual lines themselves, 
it almost looks like the ball has a little bit of a light blue detail within the aero track grooves which is something that again i guess may change depending on the lighting situation but uh definitely looks very very cool it's a cool looking ball it's going to perform the part it's a great match ball and again if you were on the market for an ordem 4 and you want something that's just a little bit different from the regular league branded ones this is one that i would strongly consider so that's pretty much it for the review guys if you're interested in one of these again First link down below, go ahead and check it out. It'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with SR4U coupon codes where you can pick this guy up below its normal $160 retail. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.